Sometimes a man must look past what he thinks he sees. Well done, Marius. Soldiers! Soldiers! Well, don't just stand there, you useless souls! Get me out of here! Get me out of here now! I suppose that would be our glorious leader, General Commodus. Yes, the Emperor's son. Get me out of here, you stupid fools! I command you! Your victory, your honors, Centurion. At once, sir. Come on, come on, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Give me your cape. Give me your cape! We marched to York. Commodus was safe, and Oswald ready to accept peace. I pray to the gods that an end to this horrific bloodshed was within our grasp, that I could finally return with my men to Rome. I began to realize that Commander Vitalian had every reason to question the wisdom of this campaign. How many soldiers had given their lives to achieve this so-called victory? For me, I had spilled all the blood I could handle. Governor, I bring before you Oswald, King of the Britons. He has renounced this rebellion. He will submit to the rule of Rome, and henceforth he will only fight to secure peace between our two great peoples. Highness Commodus, all we ask is that my people are treated with fairness. Treated as equals. So that all may live in peace. So that we all may live in peace. The peace treaty from Rome. All he needs is the King's mark on that scroll, and then we can all leave this godforsaken island. Your Emperor, my father, he is indeed wise and fair.
This is the Emperor's seal. It is a direct extension of his will and the power of Rome. Rise. Embrace me. <laughs> ah. King Oswald, here is your peace. Oh. Oh. How dare you! You filthy, stinking dog! How dare you! You see? Do you see what happens when you defy me? Never defy me! Barbarians didn't kill my father. The Emperor did. Save Rome from them. Now! Heal, you dogs! What are you waiting for? I said, Neil! 